So this just came in the mail today. It's a, just kidding, this thing's 45 years old or more. It's, it's, it's a oldie buddy goodie. But this just came in the mail today and it's a Shoki 14A4A. So in our previous videos, we've um, used this guy. Uh, he's the uh, Old Faithful, you know, Shoki 14A4A. Uh, it's a fairly shallow mouthpiece. Um, but, you know, it's it's been around a long time. As you can tell, the silver finish, uh, chrome plating or silver plating has worn off. It's pitted. Um, but the cup and the rim are in great shape. and. Um, everything else seems to be in fairly good working order, so it works, but want to see how it compares to a brand new one. All right, let's take a look at it, shall we? Um, as you know, I like my boxes, and this is a very sturdy box. Um, it's very strong, and the mouthpiece won't rattle around um, in there. Um, I think like we saw the Dennis Wick, uh, there's a lot more room in the box for, for things to potentially wander around, but this is very, very solid. I mean, it's not as, you know, robust as this Yamaha box that has a hard time opening. <laughs> you know, it has these inner um, cardboard carriers that um, have a slot for the... Uh, mouthpiece to go into and it really really does protect so Yamaha does a great job there but uh, that's a Yamaha box and this is a Shoki box you know I have no complaints it's it's actually very very solid um, really really well built the uh, yeah I think that's enough about the box all right let's let's see what this guy looks like inside so beautiful finish very, very shiny. And if we can take a peek at it, Shoki 14A 4A. Now, just visually, how does that compare to the old one? So, hmm. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna note that the down here part, or this like kind of sharp sharper edge right here. It's a little more rounded on the new ones. I, I don't know if you can see that. Um, or maybe it's just the way it's finished. It, it looked like it, it was ground a little more flat there than this one, than the old one. So I've got the old one in my right hand and the new one in my left. Um, but the stamping looks the same and, you know, their logo um, it's a little lower um, than here, where they stamped it. But other than that, it uh, looks fairly similar uh, in terms of the mouthpiece itself. Now the, the rim contour though, you know, what, what you'll actually feel on your face, that looks exactly the same. Uh, let's see, let's, let's take a look at the cups. Well, let's go around the rim rim contour seems very similar um, you have that same little sharper I would say um, inner rim contour than than say the the Yamahas that, that you you have out there um, uh, the cup shape looks very much uh, like like the old one and the new one still looks very much the same um, the throat opening this one's tarnished and stained. I've tried to clean it, but I can only clean it so far. Um, you know, looks very similar. Um, well, it's really hard to compare. It might have a little bit, you know, a little more opening uh, in the throat, a little more, uh, 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 something that kind of adds some warmth. Um, yeah, I think, well, let's try to look at it in with a white box like we've done in the past 
Uh, maybe that'll give us a little more reflections. Mm, not really. Yeah, this thing is really stained on the inner throat part, but um, yeah, it's hard to see. But maybe it is. Maybe the the, the throat entrance is, is the same. Now let's uh, take a look at everything else. Length, same. Um, well, that's a slight difference. So you notice on the old one, you know, see how sharp, see how thin that is? You see how much thicker that is? Um, the old one had a kind of a, from like, above my fingernail, outward, um, had kind of a, a chamfer or a bevel cut, which you can see here. You can kind of see from about here up about a, uh, maybe half an inch or so. Um, it flares really quickly. Where it looks like the new one, which is on my left hand, um, it looks like it flares uh, all the way um, even more evenly than this one does. Where this one stays a little more narrow in the throat and then flares really quickly and then gets very thin here. And you can tell over the years it's it's gotten kind of mushed. I think this one has a a more uh, it doesn't have as you know a dramatic flare opening there at the end. I don't know if you can catch that. You see how that, that chamfer here and flare goes really quickly. Where I think this is going to flow a little more open, a little more, a little freer for 14A4A. And having this um, part here actually f much more thick than this will make it last a little longer. Um, and it's got a nice rounded if you can see that, the right where it'll go into your receiver, it's more open as well. So, or I mean, it's got a little kind of a rounded edge in there. But yeah, you can definitely see how much thicker the new one is than the thinner one, or the old one. Well, this is going to be interesting to try and play these two, see, you know, if there's any real difference. Let's, let's take a look at here, if we can tell if there's any, let me move this right there so you can do a side by side compare on the bore. Actually, it looks a little bit bigger, and that's hard to say. But yeah, I think it might be a little bit bigger. Not, not a lot, maybe. Maybe this is just all the junk that's built on there. And trust me, I've scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it and just can't get that that uh, darkness out of there. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, this one, is it a little bit bigger? It's just my imagination. Yeah, I think it's my imagination. Let's see if I can get it further away. Yeah, it's probably the same. Okay, so let's put down the um, old one, and the most popular um, lead trumpet mouthpiece that a lot of people like is this Bobby Shoe by Yamaha Bobby Shoe Lead. Um, so right away you notice, um, so this is the new 14A48 by Shoki, um, and this one you see the outer rim contour. Um, it's very similar in a lot of ways, you know. Um, I think it has actually a little more more of a crown on the top than this one. You can take a peek. Just in the outer ones. Well, maybe not. I think they're they actually feel very similar on the outer part of the rim contour. Um, and it's on the inner um, where you might feel a little more rounded uh, versus the shoki. Um, I know when I've played both of these, um, this one feels just more rounded, a little more comfortable, where the um, Shoki seems to have a little flatter, um, that's what the four stands for, the rim contour is the semi-flatness of it, where this is more of a rounded uh, rim. So this one feels a little flatter, um, distributes the um, pressure of the mouthpiece, which you're not supposed to put a, put a lot or much, uh, but it just it feels more comfortable um, to me personally. Um, 
I like the flatness of this. I, I like this mouthpiece too. It's beautiful. Um, but I'm not used to the, to the more rounded nature of the rim. So the immediate thing you'll also notice on these is the uh, cup diameter. Uh, the Shoki 14A4A is 17.09. So this one, uh, the Babishu lead is 16.54. So you'll definitely notice that. Now, when I say rim con or, uh, cup diameter, um, one thing to notice is between Yamaha and Shoki, you're not exactly sure where they begin to measure it. Like, do they measure it right at the top or a little bit in? So the more rounded nature of this versus a little sharper um, rim contour, uh, how far down into the cup the manufacturer measures, that 17.09 or 16.54 millimeters, they don't really say when they do that. So that's one of the things that there are no standards. But um, when when you put both of these on your face, um, to me, the, the Shoki definitely feels a little bit bigger. Um, so it allows um, a little more of my embouchure into the uh, cup. Okay, let's, let's take a look at these throats. And right away, um, you know, you can tell that the, the Bobby Shoe leads throat you know, the narrowest part of that opening um, is smaller than the Shoki 14A4A. Um, they actually specified that as 3.56 millimeters. And the Shoki, they really don't talk about it. <laughs> they don't specify it. Uh, but gosh, it would have to be closer to, you know, the 3.65 or the 3.7 of some of the other mouthpieces. Let me grab another mouthpiece to compare the new Shoki with. So one of our other videos, uh, we looked at this Dennis Wick that, uh, 4E, and it had a throat size of 3.7 millimeters. And if I compare these side by side, oh no, it looks pretty similar, right? Well, it does for my eyeballs, but um, yeah, so the, the, the throat um, is uh, much bigger than the uh, Bobby Shoe lead. So, you know, that's neither good or bad. What, what that will do is allow a little more free-flowing, um, a little less pressure, um, and it looks like, even though both of these, so the Bobby Shoe lead is, is uh, very similar to Yamaha's 14A4A, uh, but with a tighter throat, um, so the back bore, it appears just kind of to me that the Shoki opens up, um, quicker. And it's supposed to have, you know, the A, um, is their narrowest, um, back bore, right? So when I compare the two, I don't know, it looks like, um, Shoki might, might be a little bigger. Um, so it's that combination of um, the throat entrance will affect your tone a little bit, where you can see the um, Bobby Shoe lead. You see how it's, there's the throat entrance is a little more rounded, where the throat entrance on the Shoki in my right is, there's a little harder of an edge, you know, um, where this one is more gradual, opens up earlier. And that, uh, that'll give the, the Bobby Shoe lead a little more warmth into your tone. Um, but then when you combine it with the more open uh, throat and back bore of the Shoki, that's going to be interesting to see how that plays. I think this will be a little more free-flowing um, than the lead. The lead will give you a little, perhaps a little warmer sound and be a little more supportive. Uh, because of the little um, slight differences in resistance that you'll get from the Bobby Shoe lead. And then in terms of how it feels, let's compare these two cuts. What do you think? Pretty similar in, in terms of shelliness. Um, and you'll definitely feel, um, you see how much wider 
or thicker. Um, and, you know, it's described as flatter. The four is their semi-flat rim contour, um, where this has their semi-round rim contour. You know, those, those two things will definitely feel uh, different. So it'll be an interesting play. Boy, it really does show up that thing. I don't even know how I did that. Uh, thankfully, you can't feel it when you play it, but uh, it just doesn't look that pretty anymore. So, so pretty having these nice new mouthpieces. But um, yeah, so the Shoki 14A4A should be a nice free-flowing um, mouthpiece in terms of its upper register. The A cup's going to give you a lot of support. The flatter rim or semi-flat rim that they describe, um, you know, supports you know your your embouchure because it distributes the the pressure out um, a little bit more. And like I said, compared to <laughs> This little old guy. Um, wow. Uh, so so cosmetically a few differences, um, but yeah, the big difference being this uh, back bar. The shapes are very different, and I like I really like that it's it's thicker here. This always scared me as how thin the edges were, and having this chamfer or you know flare very quickly at the end versus more open all the way through, uh, I suspect this one's going to play a little bit different. And if you're looking at trumpet mouthpieces, uh, looking to make a change, uh, remember that uh, your face, um, your embouchure development, the kind of music you play, um, you know, is very different than your friends and you know, certainly for me. And um, so this may fit you beautifully. Um, or it may not, or it may fit your friends beautifully, or it may not. Um, I've played on this guy for many years, so I'm very uh, eager to wash this out very carefully and then play it. Uh, but back to the original thought. If you're looking at uh, making changes, usually smaller changes are better, uh, easier for you to adapt um, your face to. And... Um, like I said, you're different, you're unique, and the kind of music you play, the experience you have, your muscular development and your embouchure is going to be different than everyone. Your, the way your teeth are shaped, the position of your lower jaw, all these things will, will make a difference in what feels good and what will maximize or help you play the best that you can play. Uh, so this is hopefully some good perspective on the Shoki 14A4A. Hope it helps. Thanks for playing along.